Okay. So, these substances which are the lipid mediators which are generated afterwards and then released again the poor cell is trying to help us but maybe it is killing us in this process. These substances are called slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis. Slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis. So, these are these substances leukotriene B4, C4, D4, prostaglandines and so on some other factors. Now, the other thing to note in this is which is really interesting. These mast cell can actually do you know this? These mast cell can cause an anaphylaxis like reaction anaphylaxis like reaction. So, of course, that would be called anaphylactoid right anaphylactoid in instead of anaphylaxis. So, it is anaphylaxis like reaction without immunoglobulin. So, this is something which really have to be known many students many doctors are not aware of this. It is not necessary that this mast cell has to have IgE over here and have the allergen attached to the IgE and have this whole events occur to, to degranulate. These mast cells have gotten pattern recognition receptors on them PRRs that is toll like receptor remember toll like receptors TLR, TLR 2 and 4 which work with the CD14. We talked about it in our last lecture. So, the toll like receptor is present in the mast cell and basophils as well. They can independently check the pathogen which could be a bacteria now or they could check something like a, a pollen or they could be some other allergen whatever. These can see the surface they can recognize the surface and as a result there could be conformational change once again causing the same thing cyclic GMP increases that causes the various proteins to start doing the degranulation. So, this is called anaphylactoid reaction. So, a good doctor an excellent doctor a good student an excellent student should know this that we not only have anaphylaxis we also have anaphylactoid reaction done by the same cells, but the mechanism of trigger is different. In case of anaphylaxis or the type 1 allergic reaction the mechanism is IgE is sitting on the receptors and activating two of the this is consecutive receptors are activated together causing cyclic GMP and then degranulation. Anaphylactoid is the toll like receptor is present which gets activated by some pattern which is recognized by that toll like receptor which causes conformational change inside the cell which would increase the cyclic GMP and the GMP and then the degranulation. One more thing which I uh, forgot to mention one of the the uh, I will use a green marker one of the preformed substances is also serotonin, serotonin again same action increase vascular permeability and the uh, smooth muscle contraction. So, this sort of wraps up our function with the basophil in the mast cell one important thing for the basophil they are sitting in the circulation and they have heparin as well which has strong action on the uh, surrounding tissue and the blood vessels. So, that is where we are people who have asthma people who have allergic reactions in those these basophil and mast cells are there and type 1 hypersensitivity is due to these guys. Do you know that there are there can be other triggers other than this the triggers could be so remember this now the triggers could be not just the allergen the trigger can be mast cell can become unstable and a person takes a shower and develops allergy do you know why the mechanical factor the mechanical effect on the skin causes the mast cells to be shaken up and degranulate temperature variance it is possible a person remember the people who have allergies normally try to avoid warm temperature because the temperature variation can destabilize the mast cell as well and cause the degranulation. 
So, mast cells are not degranulating only because of a pollen or, or only because of a toll like receptor. They have other ways of becoming unstable as well. So, shower or mechanical action or temperature variation or other toxins can also do this. So, we will continue our discussion with the eosinophils now.